Hey there, Chad here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to bring something a little different for my channel, and that is a sneak peek at a closed beta for a new game called News Tower. Now, News Tower is currently expected to come out in the first quarter of 2024. And this morning I had an email inviting me to the open beta. So let's take a look at this and see what it's about. There is a built-in tutorial, and I want to show you a little bit of that. So we're going to go ahead and start with a new game. And we're going to say yes to the introduction. It tells a little bit of a story as you first start the game. And what it really comes down to is these are postcards from the person that is giving you their newspaper. So we're going to kind of fly through these pretty quick. And here's what's kind of interesting. At the end of the day, it is your uncle that has given you this newspaper. It looks like he's run into some problems with gambling debt and he's uh, kind of disappeared. Whether or not he's hiding or if something nefarious has happened isn't entirely clear. So let's give our paper a name. I'm just going to call it the Globe. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it the Globe Democrat. That is uh, an old paper that was here in St. Louis. It is now defunct, if I recall. It was resurrected a couple of times. And despite the name, it was actually a rather conservative newspaper. If it is around right now, it's more of a news magazine, if I recall. It had come back as that once, and then it disappeared again. It was a pillar here for a very long time. Okay, and then, so if we continue through the rest of the postcards, we will eventually see that it is indeed our uncle that is sending us to New York to run his publishing empire. Now Eleanor is going to guide us through the first several days or weeks uh, or months. So so each each period is set up as a week and that week is also a month is what it looks like to me. You have one week to get your paper together, get, get reports, uh, reporters out to sites to report on news and then put it into your paper. And it is rather restrictively guided initially. It's trying to keep you from running into problems and it will walk you through all of the basic steps. You'll notice the date there is October of 29. And there's a police car out front. Now, despite the sprites and everything that kind of looks like a side scroller here, that's really not what we have here. I'm actually so far pretty impressed. This looks like it's got kind of a deep strategy to it deeper than you might suspect based on the graphics and, and the, the storyline that we're kind of running, running into. This is Eleanor. She's going to guide us through our first couple of days. And as you can see, the police are leaving. And she's going to tell us the full story. And effectively, it's that the newspaper has been in trouble and that last night some debt collectors came and roughed up the place drove off some of the employees and they're pretty close to foreclosure. So he took some external financing, external financing options. I don't recommend those and it didn't play out as he had hoped. And so it's a problem. And then we also find out that we're the final hope. And then the uh, picture above her right now actually is our father who has passed. Okay, now I have the music turned down, but it has a nice jazz uh, soundtrack that honestly hasn't been distracting. I haven't played a real long time so far, maybe an hour or so, but uh, what I will say is I, I do very much enjoy jazz. My son is a jazz musician. The music is good. It's, it's, I don't hear where it's really repeating. I'm sure it is. I probably have listened through it once at least, but it's not obvious. It doesn't feel like it's the same two songs that are just back-to-back -back repeating. So that's kind of nice. So here's the start of our, uh, our employees. We just have these two guys working for us. She calls him Bob, but that's not his name when you get into the game a little further, I don't think. So Blazanov is the... He, he works the telegraph. So we learn about news stories through the telegraph. So we have to have a telegraph machine and somebody to run it. When the light's on, it means he's receiving something. So he's getting some news right now. And ultimately, we will have a nice little HUD here. And there's, there's an indicator in the HUD that something is 
going on. So this is our week. So it's currently October of 29. This allows us to control the speed of the game a little bit. Um, you have to hold down this button in order to fast forward, but let's not worry about that just yet. So today is Wednesday. And we want to have a newspaper set up by Sunday. And as she says, there's no time to waste. And we want to pay attention to these arrows. So we'll do that. And we can use WASD to move around, see our building. Now, it is called News Tower. And you'll notice we only have two floors right now. We Actually, we only have one floor. We will eventually be able to build up. I don't know how tall it can go. I've only gotten a couple of levels in myself. But that is what is waiting for us. OK, you hit space to pause. I'm going to go ahead and do that for just a moment. So we want to scroll in and out. We can do that with uh, mouse wheel or Z and X. OK, it looks like something's coming here. He's really chatty today. OK, it looks like he's got what he needs. So when we have news that we can report on, or when there's a story out there, this globe will have a little exclamation and we click on that and it lets us go to where the story is. So we'll click this one. This one has to do with finance. That's what this icon means. And the icons do become important in the future. What you can see right now is reporters have three skills that they can report on. Dennis, who we were calling Bob in the other room, is able to report on the economy uh, because he has that icon. So you're gonna have to set up reporters that can cover the various news stories and that can probably become uh, an issue. So this is the news board and we basically to run a story or to, to investigate a story we take a reporter we drag him and we drop him in the folder and now he's working that story he's got 12 hours left now I did pause the time let's start that back up and that'll start to work and we can go back out here in the meantime and I think Eleanor is going to come and talk to us about cleaning things up a little bit. Hi, Eleanor. So the mobsters really did a number on the equipment. This is the typesetter. I really don't know why this is a necessary part of the story, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, because all she's going to have us do, uh, this is the typeset, all she's going to have us do is clean them up and then replace them with new ones. Maybe it's to show how the purchases work I'm not sure but we click this and we get rid of it we click this and we get rid of it now she has some other things ah she wants us to build a typesetting desk so we're gonna go ahead and build these in here and right now that again this is very much scripted but we click it and we drag it now in this particular case we can put it anywhere in here and uh, that would be fine We'll put it on this side and we have to assign someone to it so to assign someone we can click here. We could also go over to hire. But let's just go ahead and click here. That's just easier. And we have two people to pick from. Now, currently, their skills are identical, so there's really no difference in who we want to take. We'll put John over here. And then, as you might guess, they're going to also have us build the assembly table. So we'll put that in here. Put it right there. Oh, the reporter came in. He turned his story in to the typesetter. He's going to start typesetting it. So now we're at the assembly table. We need to hire somebody for that. And we're going to hire the other guy, Brad. OK, so he's going to typeset the story. And if we click here, we can kind of see how long that's going to take him. Take him 12 more hours to do that. And this guy's waiting. He doesn't have anything to do just yet. We do see a progress bar. But in the meantime, another story is coming in. This one is on crime, so we're going to click on that. And it turns out Dennis can report on the economy. He can also report on crime. So we will drop Dennis in here. This is, uh, these are just little snarky things that they say is what it looks like to me. But this is the actual story that will be coming on uh, eventually. And we'll, we'll see this in another place a little later. This is the symbol for a crime story. And again, these become important. Production chain. So it wants to show us how the production chain works a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and click over here. Might have to go find her. Oh, to get off of something, you just you usually just click it a second time. I think at one point she says just click off of it. Yeah, and it, it will go away as well. Okay, monitor news items in production. We can click these over here. These are the stories that are currently being worked. So the first story still has 23 hours before it will be ready. So I do have the clock stopped. 
that's why he's kind of walking weird because I paused it. But as we can see, it's Wednesday. So this story will be ready well in time for our publication. This one, can we click here? It's still being reported on. It's got two and a half days. But if we look at two and a half days, it should be ready by Saturday. So we should be in pretty good shape here. And OK, here we can see the tags. And then we also see the progress. There we go. I'm a little bit ahead of us. Clicking on this icon will direct you to the location the item is currently at. So it'll take us to the typesetter. And here he is working on that report. Now, I have not gotten far enough into the tutorial where ads uh, are available yet. Let's go ahead and move forward on time. And it's not so much it's taking too long. I just paused. And that's on me. So we'll hold this down for a second. OK, so he's finished this story. Eleanor has come back to kind of talk us through it, placing it in the printer. So she's going to come over to the printer here. And this is really odd to me because this is the only place you ever see this guy. After we do our first print run, this pr the mob comes back and destroys this and we replace it with another one that's much, much bigger. In fact, takes up an entire floor. So this is a little weird to me. I don't quite fully understand why this needed to be a part of the story, but there we go. They left us a present in the printer. Yeah, all that is, uh, from what I can tell, is it started with a story. There's a story that's already out there for us to, to work with. So that's kind of nice. So this is how this works, though. We currently only have one page for our paper. We can't can't print more than one page right now. And what's going to happen here is we basically take completed stories from this side. This one is completed. We don't want to delete it. We want to drag it and we're going to drop it over on this side. And when we do that, it will affect how many estimated sales we'll have. And it puts a number in one of these circles. And what that is, the circles are the number of articles of that quality. So this, I think, is the lowest quality. This is middle, and then this is very high. And she's kind of telling us a little bit about it. For every bronze tag, we'll gain sales. But she also wants us, there are more valuable tags, or, or uh, some, some tags are more valuable, and we want to try to print those where we can. So that's kind of the idea. So for every one of these, we'll get 1,000 readers. For these, 2,500, and these for 5,000. Currently, we're only expecting to sell 1,000 newspapers. And I wonder if I put this over here. Right now, we're not going to sell any because you know, there's no stories out there. Whatever we put in the top counts double, so that's kind of cool. I think we're going to put this story up there on top. We'll put the new publisher here. And then once this one's ready, and it is ready now, we're going to go here. And actually, we can then play around with these and see if there's a better configuration. We don't have subscribers yet, and she says we'll get to that later. I haven't gotten that far yet, but we can see how much revenue is expected. I'm not sure if this is fixed, like this is exactly what it will be no matter what, or if there's some uh, randomness that might be uh, coming into play there. Ooh, so it's time to print. I should have paused the game because I do want to move these around a little bit. I can do that. I'm going to pause it, and we're going to put the stock market crash up here because I think that's a better story. And it didn't seem to adjust this at all. What I can tell you is leaving blank space is definitely not a good thing. It will decrease stories for sure. But we'll go ahead and talk about us having uh, taken over ownership of the paper. So I did, I did pause it. Let's go ahead and start it again. I have seen where you don't have to start the run immediately. But I don't know what happens if you dally. So I'm not going to do that just yet going to start and we have to pull this lever down and the interesting thing is, is the lever has three layers it looks like that should do it it doesn't you have to pull it all the way to the bottom and that will start the run Bertha's there doing her job and our first paper is out we sold 4,000 and we'll click up here get a breakdown of what it is. So since it only has one page, it's only worth 20 cents. As we add more pages, my understanding is this price will go up. We sold 4,000 of them. That totals $800. And again, no ad revenue yet. You can see if anything else happened. So we have to pay our employees. They're all junior employees right now. And this was our first month. This confused me at first. We increased by zero and the total was minus 100. I didn't understand this. Um, this has to do with the wages 
and this has to do with month over month. So we won't see anything just yet since this was indeed our first month. Don't have a loan yet. Okay, that was the recap. So now, if you recall, it was October, now it's November. That's what I was talking about. Each week is also a month. And they destroyed our printer. Those darn mobsters. So we have to get rid of that. And if we look, not only did they destroy that, but they destroyed one of our desks. I don't know why they would do that. Why would they destroy a desk? And our uncle's filing cabinet. But we're going to remove that. And they even destroyed a plant. Okay, so we've cleaned that up. So this is the gist of the game. Oh, well, here we get some new stuff that we're able to place. This looks a little bugged right now. If you notice, it keeps saying sweeping, 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 and it went away like three times. I think that's just a bug. Um, those mobsters really made a mess. We need somebody to clean this up. So one of the options we... Oh, so I'm going to pause it real quick. Notice this started flashing. You might have heard the sound. That sound means there's a new story coming in. The light's on. You hear the sound. We want to send a reporter out to that. So we're going to send Dennis Brown right out. And this is going to be a double story. So he's going to research this. And when he's done, he's going to learn that there's another piece to be researched. You'll notice this tag is society. And then this one is government, or politics, rather. This story will count for two tags. And tags equals readership. So that's a good thing. And let's see. So she wants us to build a sweeping station. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to put it over here. There is a method to that madness. And we're going to hire somebody. Currently, Charlotte is the only person we have that we can hire for this particular job. But that's all cleaned up now. Let's see what else we have. Yes, so they want us to build another floor. We click the plus. Cost $1,000 for the first new floor, $2,000 for the next, $4,000 for the one after that. I haven't gotten further than that. We'll go ahead and build a floor. And there it is. Now, before you can access the floor, you have to put in stairs. You notice that one was a little more smooth. It only had the one item. So we're going to drag the stairs. And it looks like it wants us, it gives us that arrow there to, to put it, although there's two places we can put them. We'll go ahead and go over here. And then we'll go down. And it seems to want us to put them there. So we'll go ahead and do that. So there's basically stairs running from here to here. And now we have more stuff. Okay, that's all production stuff. We're basically going to move our production up here is what it really comes down to. Hey, there's the reporter coming in. He's turning in his story. That is one reason I might want to have reversed these. The reporter does take time to walk. So putting this guy over here, he doesn't have to walk as far to turn in his story. Something to consider. But let's go back to this. As you recall, I mentioned there was a second part to it, but guess what? He doesn't have the politics tag, so he can't work this part of the story. So we're ultimately going to have to hire somebody else to be able to finish that story. And we'll do that in a few minutes. We can also move this stuff around. I'm going to move this over here. That's going to become the new reporters area. And we're probably going to add another telegraph guy. And we'll put him in here, and that'll be the, re the radio room. But first, it wants us to build the printer, which makes sense because we're going to have to print. So we'll take this, drop it there, and that is fixed. It wouldn't let me put it anywhere else. Uh, it wants me to print the output. This is the output, and it's going to put it way over here. And again, the red outline, I can't put it here. This is where it wants me to put it. She does come in in a minute, and she says, oh, you can move it around if you want, you know, and that's, that's fine. Um, so let's drop that there, and then we run it to there. And then finally, it tells us to put the printer page module and it wants us to drop it there. I don't know what this does just yet. We'll have to figure that out in time. Much better than our old printer. Yeah, it's kind of huge. Soon we'll be able to add more pages. Yep. Don't be afraid to rearrange. So I did try to rearrange a little and she mentions that it can go through ceilings and walls and that's cool. The, the print tray can. I had a little trouble getting that to work. Um, but I don't fully know what I'm doing yet, so probably just need to play with it a little more. So here's where they want us to hire more workers. New Telegraph, put that there. 
talking to reporter desk, and that's really important. We want to get that started right away. We can boost our reporter's abilities with like toys and that we can put on their desk, and we'll get to that in a minute. For now, we want to hire this guy. And then we immediately want him to go and work the second half of that story for us. So he does have politics. This is Ronald Porter. We'll drop him there. And he's going to go and do some work for us. Now what we'll notice is if we click over here, that part of the story is done, but we have another two and a half days. So we should be okay, but we're going to want more stories. We need at least three to fill that first page. I'm going to hire this guy. There we go. And what is this trying to tell me? I'm going to pause it for a second. Oh, enhance the reporter. Yeah, so what this is, um, I mentioned it had a globe there that it added as a comfort item. So, uh, it's also showing up as production accessories. That's interesting. We can take that, we drop it on his desk, and it gives him a little bonus in his abilities. If we look at his skills, have to click on him. I think it kind of shows, yeah. So we have one buff that's helping him out in his concentration. So concentration is what keeps them working well. If they're not concentrating, they uh, they don't perform as well. So just something to consider. And you can put these on reporters' desks as well. And why not? It's 50 bucks. We'll we'll take that hit. Okay. On pausing time, these guys are just waiting, not a lot to do, and she doesn't really have anything to clean up just yet. Let's send out some reporters. Oh, another story did come in. Okay, so we got two more stories actually. So we'll grab this one. Ronald will report on that. And then we'll click here, go check on the economy story, and Dennis will work on that one. Now, it might be too late in the week to actually get those both in. So we have our first story ready, and these two are in the works. Actually, it's not ready, so that's 16 hours. Here he goes. He's taking it over to the assembler. One and a half days, it's going to be really close. We might have to, uh, we're not going to get the third story in. That just isn't going to happen. And now there's another story out here. This is a sports story. Ronald can report on that. Okay, so this is basically how it flows. Let's go ahead and get to the point where we do our next newspaper. In my next episode, we'll look at what the open game is without the tutorial, just to give you an idea of what all there is in this game. That should give you some, some insight as to what uh, to expect as we move forward. Article is finished. That's good. It's the first one, 19 hours. So we're going to be okay with this one. 18 hours, it, it will get done. This one is down to a day and a half. It's going to be really, really close. And this one, two and a half days. Let's go ahead and fast forward through Saturday and see how far we get. Okay. Time to roll the presses. Ah, I didn't put lights up here. That's one of the things it's trying to tell me. So we're gonna put lights here for each of these. Okay, but we need to run the paper now. So we don't have anything here. We're going to put this big article up here because it has two tags, so that's got to be a good thing, right? Um, and then this story is ready. When you have a tag in two places, you get a bonus for that. They like that. Unfortunately, I don't have another story ready to go. We could try waiting 12 hours. You know what? Let's do it. What I can tell you is I have weighed it before and I was okay. It, it still allowed me to print. There we go. Let's put that there. We're gonna pause for a second. We're gonna shuffle this around a little just to see. Yeah, so that drops the uh, revenue. 
which would mean it's dropping the total number of expected readers, 6,000 versus 7,000. So we'll go ahead and go with that. We're going to start. We're going to print it. And that's our new printer. And that should be a new record for sales for us. Yep, it sure is. So to the next. As we can see, $1,400. That's a good haul for us this early on. Quite a bit of an increase here, but this is increase in expense, not in sales. We don't really track that. That's interesting. This is how much it cost us to put the newspaper together based on the number of people we have hired. Okay, that's an interesting take there. And then we can see that somebody improved a level. He went up one level in typesetting, so that's good. He's still considered a junior though. I'm assuming as we get more experienced people, they're going to cost us more. And we will leave the recap. Let's touch on this briefly and then we will call this an episode. So the, the next part of the tutorial is this is a map of New York and we can focus on different areas uh, to expand our business. Now it wants us to pick Williamsburg. We'll go ahead and click on these and what you can see is basically if we want to expand here, they want us to run society and entertainment stories. Uh, if we want to go to Wall Street, it's going to be uh, economy and politics, which makes some sense, doesn't it? Okay, and we, we would be able to continue to, to look around. You, you're limited to only things that are currently connected to you. We're going to go ahead and go with Williamsburg, because that's what it wanted us to take. And we're going to choose the district. It pops it in down here. Basically, that was a shortcut to clicking this and making a selection is really what it kind of is there. So uh, just so you're aware, you will get more labels. There's other things that you can select at the same time. These, these become different things that are available to you. But as you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can try to do uh, to improve your readership. And some of these are like, this is a, there's a store here where you can buy goods that help you improve your, your reporters and things like that. Uh, we confirm by either clicking this or the confirm button and it pops it in here telling us basically don't forget don't forget to do a crime story and a sports story that's great we can do that in fact we don't have any already so we'll have to see if we can find any hopefully our telegraph workers find stuff to do there Okay, well, I hope that gives you an idea of what this game looks like and what it's about. The game so far, I've, I've really enjoyed what I've seen, and I'm kind of looking forward to, to kicking the tires on this one a little more deeply. I will probably put a few more videos like this one together. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something, and consider putting this on your wish list. It looks really, really good. I feel like there's some depth here. I feel like there's some interesting things you're going to get to do with trying to place ads and... and you know, putting in pages in appropriate places. Uh, I'm looking forward to finding out how to get to a second page. And once I have that, we will see where this goes. So thanks for your time this time. And until next time, fair travels.